In fact, that same weather system will eventually bring colder air beginning tomorrow along with some uh, gusty wind. Very mild, obviously, today. Temperatures topping out in the mid-60s away from the ocean. Made it a 64 in Providence today, upper 50s along the south shore. A little bit of sunshine and then the clouds taking over this afternoon. So far, there's really no widespread precipitation. We weren't really expecting a lot to begin with. Now, there may be an isolated shower coming through this evening, but really nothing more than that. So heading out this evening, some last-minute errands, picking up things, uh, going to the airport. Weather looks, for the most part, okay. Just a passing shower this evening. Temperature still very mild at 56. On a southwest breeze at 5. Humidity still on the high side, coming in at 80%. Mid and upper 50, still 61 in Boston, 55 Smithfield. Westerly with clouds at 54 in uh, Newport coming in now at 53 degrees. Satellite and radar composite. See the line of showers in upstate New York. As they approach, it's really been fizzling out. So again, one or two showers, quick ones coming through this evening. You can already see the clearing near Buffalo, New York. So this little wedge of dry air back in here, that's coming in for later tonight and especially for tomorrow. You can see the very mild air up and down the East Coast. Of course, we had that today. But draw your attention to the colder weather across the northern plains and the Great Lakes. This is headed our way over the next couple of days. Now, it won't be as, as extreme as 19 in Duluth, but it will be noticeably cooler uh, beginning Wednesday and lasting through the holiday Thursday. For this evening, cloudy skies and mild. A brief shower and nothing more. Temperatures dropping through the lower 50s. Then overnight tonight, we'll start to see some clearing. The temperatures dropping off as well. Not as mild as last night by 5 o'clock in the morning, down to 39 degrees. So a cool but bright start tomorrow morning, sunrise at 645. What you'll notice, not only the dry air, but the wind starting to kick up. Can't stress this enough. It will be a very windy day. In fact, we may see gusts up to 40 miles per hour, though there will be plenty of sunshine, very dry air, and notice it will be cooler. We go from 65 this afternoon to only 48 for the high temperature tomorrow afternoon. Now, throw in that gusty wind, it will feel even cooler. But at least we have dry conditions. Northwest wind 20 to 30 with gusts of 40. So there is a gale warning boaters on area waters. West Greenwich at 45. Most spots are going to top out somewhere between 44 and 47 for the afternoon high. So noticeably cooler, but at least skies are blue. The air is dry. We're not dealing with any precipitation on Wednesday. So bright and windy. Still looking good for Thanksgiving. You know, last week we were thinking perhaps some wet weather that is now going to hold off until late Thursday night. And especially for that busy shopping day on Friday, rain likely with a high of 52. And then it cools off, chilly over the weekend, but dry both Saturday and Sunday with sunshine and a temperature at 45. So, you know, decent travel weather across New England as far as precipitation, but pretty windy. So, you know, those takeoff and landings in wind like that can be a little bumpy. Yeah. So be prepared for that. All right. Thanks, Tony. Coming up on Eyewitness News Live at 5, home for the holidays. Up next, the Military Mom surprises.